Well, hello everyone. Fancy meeting you here. Are you having a good fun time this Sunday evening? We don't usually we don't usually have one of these on a Sunday evening. That's kind of unusual, isn't it? It's not every day we get a Sunday evening stream. Hello, God Emperor, Freddy, Tanner, Roofing Guy, Slash Slash, Dominus Raiden. <coughs> yep. Surprise hard leg streams are always nice. What is it, my birthday? Maybe. I don't know, you tell me. Almost 3 a.m. It's only 10 p.m. here. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, if you, you missed the Friday stream for the Deck Devastation Challenge, normally I do four hours a stream. And this week I only did two because I agreed to be on Asagi Ame's channel. We did a whole interview thing. It's uploaded over on her YouTube. You can go check that out. But... I, uh, I realized that, what was it? I, I, I was like, ah, I could do two hours one week, that's fine. The way we have it scheduled out for the DDC, um, I don't have to stream every single week to keep up with it. In fact, that was part of the thing coming up with the, the schedule for it, was to have one where, it, um, like, if I missed a week, I wouldn't be, like, completely out of the loop. Or be completely screwed. Um, so I was like, yeah, that'll be fine. And then I forgot that this weekend I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed finally. So I think I don't like, it'd be fine if I missed, like, did like a half stream one week as long as I did the regular stream the next week. Or I could skip the stream next week if I did a full stream previously. But I couldn't do both. So, we're here to make up with a two-hour mini-stream. I've got a morning shift. Good night. Good night, Slash. Thanks for coming out. So, that's what we're doing tonight. Why is this, like, telling me things? Is it because of the... Okay. Get rid of that exclamation mark. Okay, good. If you watch the duel against Jesse possessed by Ubel versus Adrian Gecko, so I had an idea of you using a deck Ubel was using to reach master. It'll be a stretch. I mean, I already got a, a series. I've already got two series now where I try to reach master. I don't think I could do a third one. I'd have to make like a whole other account. And even if I was going to do that. I don't think I would let one person, like, build the deck. Right now, a Patreon reward is to pick the deck I ladder climb with. But, I mean, if you've got a cool idea and you think that idea will work, why not try it yourself? You've got the skills. You've got the power. I just realized this TV is still kind of on the screen. I need to find somewhere else to put that. I made a goatee list based on your Sekka's fish, and I genuinely love the deck. Hey, glad to hear. Always nice to know I can inspire people. <sighs> Delicious hot chocolate tonight. It's too late for coffee. And soda. But yes, anyone, everyone here familiar with the deck devastation challenge? I don't have to play the thing, do I? that explains, like, what we're doing here. Do you hate Runic? No. I don't like decks that sit on floodgates, so there are variants of Runic that I don't enjoy. But Runic Goaty is fun. Sweet Iced Tea, nice. Let me see if I can find this. I made a note about what I was going to do. I 
Uh, where's it at? There we go. Oh. Florence won! Thank you for the 35 months. I always miss the streams due to time zone differences. Luckily, I have your YouTube channels to make up for that. Love the content. Hey, I'm glad. I assume you're you're familiar with the, the Raw Hard Leg channel. That makes it easy to catch up on the streams and everything. Uh, do I start here or do I start on the main one? No, I think I start on the main one. Okay. Let me see if I can remember this. I, I try not to script things out because I feel like it feels fake. But I did want to gather my thoughts on all this. So if you saw the previous stream, one of the things I was having problems with is, you know, uh, every time I win a duel, I'm supposed to be able to craft a card. But because I haven't destroyed very much stuff, I don't have enough resources to craft a card most of the time. So I kind of need to, like, break down stuff. So I made this, like, awful deck full of a bunch of, like, barely usable SRs and stuff. And just bad cards I didn't want to use. <clears throat> With the express purposes of this is good enough to still maybe win in gold. While also being bad enough that we will break down some of these cards. Like, I didn't want to make a deck that was just, like, purposely going to lose. Because I felt like there's no skill in losing on purpose. And it's probably not super exciting to watch. Although that latter part doesn't matter because this is an edited series. So even if you people on stream have to suffer through it, we could just edit out all the duels where I lose on purpose. But it, it takes no effort to just crash monsters into my opponent over and over again. It only takes time. And so I felt like, you know, if I was going to make a deck that was just going to purposely lose, that, like, I might as well just change the rules to make it so I can break down whatever cards I want. And just save myself the time, right? I didn't want to do that, and my, my compromise was this. This, like, awful deck that isn't supposed to lose, but is also full of bad cards that will die. The problem is, I still can't bring myself to lose on purpose, or like purposely break cards, and I feel like it's going to end up um, crippling my ability to craft stuff in the future. We're getting devastated. And plus I realized like, okay, so I didn't want to just crash cards because it would be too easy. And I didn't want, so I was like, maybe I should just make it so I can break down the cards I'm not using. But then I realized there's a bunch of cards in here that like, um, like if I just made it so I could break down whatever I wanted, I would have so many UR and SR points. It might take away all the difficulty. Like it would be even easier to do that because then I could just get rid of all these like extra deck monsters I'm never going to summon. I could just break down all these spell traps that I'm not going to use at all. And in that case, it actually might be more interesting and have more skill to try to make a deck that breaks down as many cards as possible as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to try tonight. <laughs> if, you, if you came here for like expert Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. I don't think you're going to get much of that. We're, we're playing the grinder. I am going to be purposely losing, but trying to do so in a way that loses me as many cards as possible in the process. And hopefully we can get some kind of entertainment value out of that. Maybe a good use for the Metal Foes cards. The problem is I have exactly one Metal Foe card. It's this guy. 
and I was like, oh, I'll put this in and I can use it to destroy everything, except I don't have a metal foe spell trap to search. <laughs> So it's, this is literally just like everything in here is bad. Everything in here is something I'm not going to use. There's some beaters and stuff in here. And then the only things in here that can't be dismantled are Dust Tornado, because I'm going to use them on my own cards to hopefully be able to break down stuff like Gotham's Emergency Call and this Vampire Counter Trap so I can get the dust from them. So that's what I'm going to try to explain to, to uh, the YouTube chat as quickly as possible, hopefully without using the script. Your opponents won't know what's going on. They already don't know what's going on. I don't get this challenge, to be honest. So if you're new here, if you don't know the Deck Devastation Challenge, the basic idea is... Uh, if a card gets destroyed in a duel, I have to decraft it. So I'm trying to climb the ladder starting in Rookie uh, with a deck that every time something gets destroyed, I have to get rid of it. It's like crumbling to dust in my hands. It's like building a sandcastle in the rain. The only time I'm allowed to open up new packs is when I win a game. If I win a game, I get to open one pack and I get to craft one card. The problem is, there's a rule that I'm not allowed to break down cards I don't want. They can only be decrafted if they get destroyed in a duel. <laughs> and so I'm getting to this problem where I'm winning a lot of duels, but I can't make use of the rewards because I can't craft anything. I don't have enough dust, I just now got enough to craft an SR, and that's the only thing I have. And if you can't craft an SR, it's hard to, like, build towards anything. So what I'm doing now is making a deck of all my useless high rarity cards and purposely trying to crash them and destroy them so they get dusted so I can use that dust with my other deck to start winning and crafting the stuff I need. Does that include destroying the card yourself? Yes. If it's destroyed by any means. Okay, finish that up. So yeah, we're going to see. This is going to be part of the challenge. We're going to see if it's... <laughs> so it's a suicide cult. I mean, this one is, yeah, I call it the grinder. Because that would be more uh, YouTube friendly. <laughs> the card grinder. The ghost grinder. Okay. Let me get my notes up here. I have notes I'm taking for the editor. Uh, week 3.5. March 24th. We'll get this like, okay. All right, so clearly doing this half-heartedly isn't working very well. Uh, like having a deck that tries to win while also, or I've tried, okay. All right, so doing this half-heartedly isn't working very well. Having a deck that tries to win and tries to preserve some of its tools while also allowing some to be sacrificed, just it, it just doesn't work with how this challenge goes. So we're going to try something a little different. Previously, I tried not to make a deck that would lose on purpose. I thought that it wouldn't be fun, it wouldn't be interesting, it wouldn't be challenging to just crash monsters into my opponent over and over again for the sake of getting dust. Uh, because there's not really any difficulty in that, right? Like, because it's not very hard to do that, right? Like, if I'm going to... Okay. Because it's not very hard to do that, right? Like, 
If I'm gonna do that, it's just, uh, uh, damn it, how did I? Because it's not very difficult to do that, right? Damn it, I forgot. Okay, let's let's try this again. Take two. Also, let's move this over a little bit. Ugh, pardon me. Okay. So this isn't working out very well. Trying to make a deck that both wins and conserves some of its good cards while also offering some up for sacrifice and allowing them to be destroyed, it's just not really getting me anywhere. I'm not winning, nor am I destroying the cards I want. I really have to decide between the two. And you know, I, I didn't really want to make a deck whose entire purpose it was to lose so I could get dust. Because there's no challenge in that. It's not difficult to just ram my monsters into stuff over and over again. If I wanted to do that, it would just be a matter of time before I got the dust. So rather than do that, I figured why not change the rules so that I can decraft whatever I want. You know, rather than spend all the time crashing, just allow me to break down all the URs. And then I started to look through my URs and I realized, actually, I had a whole bunch that would be very difficult to destroy in a duel. That if I allowed myself to break down all of these URs that were just odd extra deck monsters and spell traps and things that were, like, impossible to summon, that I would be flushed with dust and it would be too easy. So, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and try out my first idea. I have built a deck called The Grinder, which is made specifically to lose. It contains all the SRs and URs I could possibly summon, uh, as well as mostly R cards. I've noticed that the Labyrinth deck I want to build doesn't have any normal cards in it, other than like Stovey. So I, I'm mostly trying to destroy rare cards and super rares and ultra rares. We've made a deck almost entirely of that, and almost everything else that's not part of that, like, helps me destroy things easier. And every card in here, like, can be destroyed, none of them are safe, except for Dust Tornado. I'm hoping that I can draw Dust Tornado in a duel, use it to destroy something like Gotham's Emergency Call, and get some sweet UR dust out of that. So, I'm not sure if this will be very fun to watch, or very interesting, but I feel like it's more challenging than just breaking stuff down. And you know, this is an edited series. Twitch chat has to sit here and watch me lose over and over again. But for the rest of you, this will probably be a montage. And you know, if you don't like this, if you think it goes against the spirit of the challenge, just let me know, you know, I can always decide not to do this in the future. But for now, I think I'm gonna have some fun trying to see how quickly I can decimate this deck. How many duels will it take me to destroy as many of these as possible until I can no longer build something? I guess we're gonna find out. All right, zero, 26. Explaining the grinder deck. You should read Dust Tornado again. Uh. Well, you know, chat, I'll just have to, I'll have to learn it in episode. Zark nuke. I can't summon Zark is the problem. <laughs> just like I can't summon Glaive Buster or Yukio Punk or Thought Ruler Archfiend. Okay. And I guess, I don't know if there's any, um, any mods in chat. You want to put up a poll? Question, how many duels is it going to take for me to destroy my deck until it becomes under 40 cards? It's got 55 currently. Clearly it won't be on one. B 
Block Mango 2. They're twice the mango I could ever be. Ah, and we're up against tier limit. I will activate Flower Dino. If your opponent activates a spell, you could special summon this from your hand. Behold its mighty power! Checking out my Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel. Uh, not at the moment. I'm in the middle of recording a thing. Also, chat, I'm gonna need your help to, rem to remember all the stuff that gets destroyed. Please, please have your, your documents open so you can write down all my losses. I did the thing. Thank you, Frost Hollow. Alright, not the most powerful uh, tier limit board, you know, but it exists. Oh, doing a thing? Okay. Stuff and things! I'm not sure I would recommend it. Alright, Sofa Cord Cutia. Okay, so we just want to get, like, as many cards on the field as possible. I can put this here. I can set this. Or what was it? If we want to maximize how many cards are destroyed in the duel, it makes sense to actually, like, attack some of their stuff, right? Like, that way I'll be able to get more turns in on one duel. Uh, let's see, and we want to break down the SR. Uh, and we'll set it so we take less damage. The more turns we can get in on this duel, the more cards we can destroy. We want to wall up as good, best as possible. And then as soon as this starts, we'll just flip up the Dust Tornado and destroy this, so we'll get at least one SR. Go, Dust Tornado! One spell trap your opponent controls. Okay, well this is not MST. <laughs> I have officially learned such a thing. But, you know, they get a search, so maybe they'll be a little stronger or something. I don't know. <laughs> Raigeki! Okay, well that's that's one way to get rid of everything. Goodbye, you two. I barely knew you. Flower Dino and Virtual World Lulu. Both dead. Commended to the Ageless Ones. I am surprised, though, that they used a uh, Raigeki on those two. It's not something I would have done. Oh, wait! They used Shadal Dragon! Okay, Cutie is destroyed, too. Excellent. Three cards down. Uh, these are both R's, but this one is a shiny R, so it's worth more dust if we get it destroyed. And also, it's a tin dangle, and I'm never playing tin dangles. Archfiend Cavalry. This thing just, like, blows itself up. Um... Can we possibly survive another turn? Yeah, we might be able to get two cards out of this, depending on what they get. Well, 
Why are you activating Soliac? You don't have you don't have a card you can negate. D okay. Sure. Shuffle your stuff back. Gotta put that Raigeki back so they could draw it again next turn. Are you the hardest leg gamer? I don't know. I haven't met every gamer. Okay, chat says it'll take three duels to get my deck below 40 cards. Ash Blossom? I guess you could make a level 7. Wait, can this not be destroyed? This can't be destroyed by battle. Okay, it's fine. That's why they had the Soliac. They can negate it by sending that to the graveyard, and now they can destroy it. <laughs> there we go! We're fine! Goodbye, Tin Dangle Trinity. There's four cards. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, let's go ahead again. We're trying to extend this as much as possible. So we can lose as many cards as we can in one duel. So we'll attack over this, they'll attack with this, we'll be able to set another card, and then next turn we'll be able to use this. If you're unfamiliar with Predaplants, this is like a hand trap. It's kind of like Battle Fader, except it summons itself to the field and then blows itself up. So, you know, useless in this challenge. Oh, okay, they don't want to take 100 damage. Yeah, there they go. That's fine. I'm fine with this. We're gonna make... Window? Sure! That'll slow you down. It ain't doing anything to me. I wasn't going to special summon anyway. Oh, fairy tale snow. All right, is this it? It might be close to it. Okay, there goes that. Goodbye, Archfiend Cavalry. Uh, yeah, I'll take the 1850. And then when they attack directly, we'll summon the Scarinia! Ha <laughs> ha! Ho ho! Oh, they can negate that. Does it destroy? Okay, it still got destroyed. That was the important part. You have to send one Tier Limits card. Okay. We didn't get quite as many, but I mean, we got like five cards destroyed, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. There we go. And I got an achievement for dueling 30 times. We did it. Yeah. The losses don't feel as bad when you do it on purpose. <laughs> okay. Duel 32. Loss 15. A fine year. Uh, okay. What was it we lost again? It was Flower Dino. Uh, Virtual World, Lulu, Flower Dino, um, Sulfacord, Cutia, Tindangle, Trinity, Archfiend, Cavalry, 
Uh, is that it? So, Lulu, Cavalry, uh, Flower Dino, Cutia, Trinity. I thought it was six cards. What was the sixth one, chat? Oh yeah, the Preta Plant. All destroyed. You can cut everything where I'm not explaining what I'm doing and why. Feel like there's some interest to be had in my strats. All right, so first grinder duel, we've already got six cards down. We recommend you to the ageless ones. Ho ho, dismantled. There we go. Now we got, we got, um, well, it's not great, but we got some stuff. We'll still have to do a few more. Let's go ahead and get these out of the deck. Oops. Damn it. I, one second. Yeah, like a rechanged on me, and I was like, hmm? Okay, is that all the cards? All right, there we go. We're from 55 down to 49. We're, we're still, you know, nine more cards, and we'll be set. Let's see what we can get in the second duel. Uh, dismantling all the cards and showing the new deck. What's the challenge? If a card is destroyed in the duel, I have to decraft it. If I win, I can craft one card. I need dust to craft it though, and I'm not allowed to decraft stuff unless it's destroyed in a duel. So I've reached a point where I'm just purposely destroying cards in a duel so that I can get the dust. Destruction duel number two, but we're against we're against one of those bot names. If I if I end up going in with this deck that is designed to lose and still end up winning, gonna be I'm gonna be a smidgen upset, just a tiny bit. This isn't what I wanted. I didn't think they could hurt me if I was trying to lose, but they found a way to hurt me. This must be one of those sussy bakas I've heard so much about. No, you can't give me nothing to crash into! 
Oh, okay. Well, there we go. You know, either way, I'll win by summoning a 2,000 or... Or they'll destroy this and I'll get uh, UR points. Let's go ahead. Yay, UR points. And... And then what I'm going to do, I got Clock Tower Prison. During each of your opponent's standby phases, put a clock counter on this. When there are four, you take no battle damage. So they have to get rid of this if they want to do damage to me. Which means I can put this up and then set a bunch of other spell traps. And hopefully if they do have spell trap removal, it'll be something like Harpy's Feather Duster that'll take out all of them and allow me to claim a whole bunch of spell trap dust at once. That's the hope. One clock counter. Does this have its own, like, unique counter? Do all counters have that? I thought there was just one counter, like, thing. Battle phase. End of battle phase. I'm, I'm going to end up winning this duel, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not trying to win this duel! I'm trying to die as quickly as possible, and <laughs> I can't even do that! Wait, what? Gain 400 attack for each aqua you control. I only control one aqua. Isn't its attack... Thir oh, okay. For some reason I thought it was 300. Um... Sure, why not? More damage. Be aggressive. Clock counter number two. Not that it matters, they don't seem to be putting much uh, aggression on here. I guess, I guess that's fine. Sure, why not? I guess this is a, a fucking bot deck. It has to be, either that or they're just like the worst duelist of all time. Let's go ahead. Attack for game. <laughs> Somehow the grinder deck won a game. I don't, this wasn't supposed to happen. Zero forty seven dual thirty three win number seventeen. Somehow they don't do anything. You can skip most of it unless I say something funny. Just include the start and finish, unless I say something funny. 
Okay, win number 17. What's up? Ah, uh, you know. I tried to lose and fail. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> this is not like... This is not like a bot deck. This is like stuff. Someone built this. I am very confused. I can see why they bricked though. What are the rules if you go against me during this? Uh, there are none. Do whatever you feel like. It's a Bylander deck. Looks like it. Alright, so we're, we're almost near the end of this stream, so I don't really want to, like, craft uh, an SR and open up the secret pack for Labyrinth, because... If I do, it'll only be there for a day, and then I'll have to get rid of it. So, um, okay, let's try it again. Okay. All right, so we get a pack, because somehow we won that. And, uh, I, I, I don't, even though I have the ability to now craft a card that would open up the Labyrinth pack and allow us to do that, the secret packs only stay around for 24 hours after you open them. And uh, we're nearing the end of our time on this stream. So I don't really want to open it now and then have to craft another one later. So I think for now, we're just going to stick with name of the champions and generic stuff. And we'll, we'll save up our SR and UR points for something else. But who knows? We might get, we might get something out of this that's good. You know, there's been good stuff in here before. Some kind of SR. Hopefully, maybe. It's Squeak Knight! He's squeaky clean. Got an Ice Jade, Code Generator, an Ice Jade, a Ice Jade, a Star Jade, a Giant Rex, and a piece of corn. Nothing really useful. I don't know why it showed, like, bright yellow. We didn't even, we didn't even get one. <laughs> Okay, and this is 50 opening our pack. It's a pack full of lies and squeak night. Love your energy. Well, thank you. You got a glossy. I did. Um, okay, is there anything that we do want to maybe consider crafting? Uh, we have 25 dust. We're getting out of the dual pass. No, just 30 gems. Uh, mission? Hey, 300 gems. That's a lot of gems. Um, okay, so we have enough for an SR, but just one. I mean, we do need one of these eventually. Hmm. 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 No, I think I want to save my SRs for now. 
SRs and URs. There's nothing really there. I could get... Are there any other rare traps? I mean, I guess we could get another Compulse, right? Do we want three Compulse just in case? But I would use three, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it would be a way. I think I'm going to get this. All right, as for our craft, I still don't want to give up a craft if we have the ability to craft something. I feel like we should because, you know, we only get one every time we win a duel. As I said, I don't want to go into the labyrinth stuff like... St okay. As for our craft, like I said, I didn't want to go into the labyrinth stuff, but I do think we should craft something that can be useful to us. We do already have three of, uh... What's that called? Dogmatica Punishment. Okay. I'll get it. Third time's a charm, chat. It's a masochist? Yeah like a masochist run all right as for our craft i do still want to craft something because we have limited amount number Ugh, okay. as for our craft i do still want to make something because i feel like it's important to take every opportunity we can to get something but as i said i didn't want to craft one of these yet and open it up instead we do have three copies of uh, Dogmatica Punishment, and we'll probably be using those until we fill out all the URs and everything here. So I think it's good to get one of the targets for that, one of the SR targets. And it's between Wind Pegasus at Ignister and Golden Cloud Beast, and I think this one's better. If it's sent to the graveyard, target a card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. That means when we use this, it's a pop and a bounce, which will help us get more wins even before we get the full Labyrinth Core built. So I'm going to go ahead and just generate one of these, and hopefully we'll get more SR points before next time. We still got a whole bunch of stuff we can decraft, or that we're going to try to decraft by, by ramming it into stuff. Uh... Crafting a beast. At least I hope so. Let me look back. How many SRs do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Plus this thing, although this thing might be useful. I don't think I want to decraft it if I can. Yeah. I don't want to craft something just for the grinder deck. At least I don't think. What's a uh, Griffin's? Destroy all spell traps on your side of the field. It is a normal. We don't need any normal points. So if we do get more normal points, we can use it on that. Unless, if possible, I'd prefer to get, like, spell trap removal that can be used on our opponent and also us. I don't know if anyone wants to look through the normal cards to find something that might be useful there. <sighs> Going second. All right, all right. Nothing great. <laughs> I can set a bunch of cards and maybe they'll feather duster it. 
This is an SR. Be nice to lose that. I should probably take out the Dust Tornadoes since I know they can't be used against me. But, you know, more car the more cards I have on my field, the more likely they are to use some mass removal to get rid of them. At least that's what I feel like. Okay, setting some cards. Whoa! And another one. And this thing is if you draw it, you can special summon it, but I did not draw it. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, we'll set this, set this, and then we'll do our best, like, in perm impersonation. Ooh, watch out! I might have some spooky cards there for you. Nothing. <laughs> uh, I mean, I might as well do this to see if I can get an idea of what they're playing. Let's see if we can learn anything. Called by the grave. All right. They must be bricked up to high heaven. No, oh, all my high level monsters. I need one of these. Mother Spider Splitter. All right. Hello, the dual logs. And Earthbound Prisoner. Okay. Weird. That is a tuner, so they got the ability to make an eight. All right, go for it. This is a neat card. It lets them uh, synchro and fusion. The best of both worlds. Come on, blow up some of these back row. Aren't you afraid? Surely you have the ability to blow up some back row. Garbage Lord. Unironically playing Garbage Lord. Not as a self burn card, but just as a free level five. Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Well, they don't quite have game. Okay. Cool story, bro. You could attack directly, you don't say. All right, let me get at least one thing off here. Come on, give me one card I can summon that'll do something. 
My strategy that looked so good before is not working at all. Gosh darn it. No, I can't use it. It's target a card your opponent controls. okay I got I got the same thing confused that's why it's in here I was hoping I could destroy my own stuff but I can't darn they have a negate and destroy but I can't actually the only thing I can activate is this which can't be destroyed anyway Damn, that did, that sucked. That was awful. Maybe I need to put some more normal sum. It's probably just, let's just jump in and try again. <laughs> okay. Duel 34, loss number 16. Uh, skip the entire duel. Just show the start and end. Because nothing happens. I love Ladder Climb. It's my favorite on the channel. Keep it up. Well, thank you. Yeah, if you haven't, if you like the Ladder Climb and you haven't checked out the first episode of the Deck Devastation Challenge, please do so. Then it might make sense why I'm doing the weird thing that I'm doing right now. The first video was fun. I feel like it's only gonna get funner once we get more stuff. All right, this is what I like to see. We really need more UR points. I know this was my first UR and maybe I should cherish it or something, but it needs to go. I need to eradicate. Okay, Sword Soul. They'll put attack position monsters right. Hopefully, maybe, probably. Just gotta wait for them to build up. The question is, we can sacrifice one other thing to the ages. And I think it's probably Alien Hypno, because it's a shiny rare. So we can get rid of the shiny one, get a little bit more dust. But there's no way we're making it to turn three. Boo-doo. Long one silver away. Gee, Billy, how come your mom lets you draw two cards? Fusion Destiny. <laughs> DP as well, you say. Alright, now I hope I can draw some kind of spell trap I could set. Give me the Gotham's emergency call so I get two URs out of this, please. That would be nice. No, just try Fortra Tops. That might be able to save me something. Okay. This thing has lived long enough. Time to get it the fuck out of here. Wait, no! 
No, don't banish it! I need it destroyed! Coward! I don't know why, I don't know why they used that. Didn't have any more power than them. Couldn't do anything. Fine, you know, at least we'll get the alien hypno. Eh. That's all I was gonna do. Just gonna crash some stuff. It's fine, okay, we get to decraft the alien hypno. Guess the quantum gets to survive to fight another day. <laughs> Now let's see, they have more than enough attack to just kill me. Will they do such a thing? Or will they be like, gotta play it safe on the open board. Who knows what crazy stuff they could have. Okay, no, they're just going directly. Thank you, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, so at least we got rid of one thing, but I didn't get the UR points I wanted. <laughs> Destroying cards is harder than I thought! <laughs> um, alien Hypno destroyed. You can skip most of their turn. But make sure you show the banished, um, what are they called? Quantal. Performed a special summon. Okay. Bam. Have a good one, Dominus. Just never letting you kill Red Layer. They're too afraid of his power. shiny at least set this just set everything hope they feather duster us a hero lives all right we'll be here for a while chat what do you want to talk about anything on your mind anything got the old brain ticking around hello birth by sorrow Now, to be fair, if I set four pass, they might do something like jump through hoops to summon acid and blow up everything. So that's fun. How's Baldur's Gate 3? Well, I beat it with, uh, with Ganunk. You're awesome to watch. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I try my bestest. Hey, everybody. Why is there a vestigial G in some words? Uh, like 17 or 18 hundredths uh, grammar nerds. That's why. They decided all the modern rules. It's been fun keeping up with BG3 with all your blue sky. I'm glad people enjoy those. Be nice if they were more popular, or if I had thought to record everything so I could make like a uh, 
a well edited video. Plasma. Ooh, Infernal Divisor. I feel like you don't see this one very often. Neos! Then we Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Watch his best and worst songs of the year video every year. I watch them, but they're like my least favorite thing that he does. I prefer Train Records and uh, One Hit Wonderland. Easiest way to get to Neos, I see, I see. Hopefully you get out of this situation. What situation? I wanna, my, 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 um, my goal is to have as many cards destroyed as possible. This situation is not bad. I want them to do stuff. My only hope is they don't use everything because then they won't have anything left to destroy my back row and I really want them to destroy those back rows. Oh, hello, Plasma. Schmaden Schmooky. All right. I've been told this card pops a bunch, but I ain't reading no nerdy hero shit. Oh, let's see. A rare with a bunch, a rare with a bunch. I think I'd rather lose this. Uh, maybe we could do all both. Let's go ahead and like set a card. Set a card, uh, set a card, um, put this in the pendulum scale. <laughs> They're like, uh, sir, the fuck are you doing? Like, I've got my own reasons. Go Karakuri Muso! All right, favorite contact. Wait, wasn't that the one that destroys a bunch of stuff? Or is it this guy? Destroy cards your opponent controls with different attributes. Okay. Yay! Back row destroyed! Thank you! I appreciate it! So, World Legacy in Shadow. And this is the shiny one, right? Yeah, the shiny one is gone, the shiny world legacy sorrow, and Gaga Ga Revenge. Three cards down, about to be four after I crash this. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and end this quickly. Target one card, yes! Twinkle Little Star Destroyed! That's any time you can get one hand and just get rid of like five of your six cards, we're great. Thank you, hero player. I appreciated it. You're the true hero after that awful Sword Soul player. It's weird because I don't think they know how much they're helping me. Oh, I'm going straight to the battle phase. You're a man after my own heart. Another productive loss. Duel 36. Loss number 18. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you wrote all those down, chat.
Karakuri. So this guy, ga ga ga. That. Um, the shiny World Legacy and Shadow. It was a uh, Abyss Actor, Twinkle Little Star. What were the other two, or what was the other one? There was one more. Karakuri Muso. Twinkle Little Star. Ga Ga Ga. Is it Revenge or Ga Ga Ga? It's all one word. Oh, it was a world legacy trap. It was the shiny one, right? Because they were all shinies. Yeah, because I think with a lot of these, I specifically chose the shiny ones so that they, um... Because they're worth more points. You're playing a Nuzlocke and a Masochist at the same time? Yes. Essentially. Alright, you five, we commend you to the lost... I uh, need to come up, um... Alright, you five, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, dismantled. Mostly rare cards, so nothing completely great, but I mean, we're still doing pretty good. You know, we're making some progress. Where's Twinkle Little Star? Wasn't she in here? Oh, did they replace her with a non-shiny version? Yeah, they did. I guess I already got rid of her. With the stuff destroyed, we're down to 43 cards. All we gotta do is lose three more and we'll be in a pretty good position. We still haven't lost any of our URs. Granted, there's not a lot of them. But, uh, you know, we're doing, doing pretty decently. And yeah, I feel sorry for the people who have been here the whole time. Because they've had to hear this explanation over and over again. But it feels like people keep, new people keep coming in and being like, what's going on here? What's this challenge? And yeah, if a card is destroyed in a duel, it's destroyed for real. If I win a duel, I get to craft a card and open a pack. But I can only craft a card if I have the dust. So right now, I'm making a deck specifically to lose so I can get more dust. Because I'm not allowed to decraft cards unless they're destroyed in a duel. Yeah, you could leave a, pin a link to the first episode, too. That would be useful.
Yep, Parasomnia not working here. All right, RR. Bunch of R cards. Galaxy Soldier. You know, Chad, I could do something very funny. How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm bored. I'm bored of RuneScape, I assume? Yep, episode one of the series. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and go look that up. Check it out. Watch the first, like, minute. There's, like, an intro. It should explain everything you want to know about the, the, the thing, if you don't already know it. Darn, I was really hoping this was a Cyber Dragon deck and they would end on machines, and then I could use Tribe Shocking Virus to destroy all the machines. Cause I got some machines in my hand, but no. Most likely I'm just gonna lose Toon Cyber Dragon and Silver Sentinel. I can get two cards on the field, but not three. Oh wait, this is a warrior. I could try to do that thing anyway. All right, Ice Knight, welcome back. Okay, so we wanna get maximum amount of field presence. Let's go ahead for this. Toon Cyber Dragon. During your opponent's turn, okay, yeah. I mean, they have a negate, so this is never going to go through. Unless they just don't know what's going on. That would be funny. It's a pity this doesn't, uh, no, it banishes a card from your hand. It doesn't destroy it. I'm still going to do it. Just to say that I activated Tribe Shocking Virus one time. Uh, yeah. Banish Silver Sentinel. Do you agree? Do you concur, Doctor? Come on, it's fine. Just let this go through. No big deal. Aw, oh, come on. You're no fun. Does that destroy it? I mean, it was going to get destroyed by battle either way, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Goodbye, Tribe Shocking Virus. You tried your best. You know? Why you detached Afterglow now, I don't know. Ah, just get an extra monster on board. Uh, okay. I don't think we could survive a third. No, they've got two level eight, so they'll probably end us here. But there's a chance that they don't, they mess up and don't put enough damage on board or don't switch everything to attack mode, and then I can get one more card in. But hopefully we're losing at least two. Could have attacked. Uh, I couldn't have because Cyber Dragon can't attack. The Toons can't attack the turn they're summoned. B. 
big number. 64. Okay, at least it was a fast duel. Not optimal. It's better when we can lose our entire hand, but you know, got some cards out of there. We're doing we're doing decently. I, I don't know why you're doing this thing. I don't think you have to, do you? Wait, am I still alive? All right. I didn't get that. That wasn't an OTK at all. So I get to get three cards destroyed. Ooh, Worm Apocalypse. This can destroy my back row if I had any. Um, and this is a five, so I can't summon it. Uh, yeah, let's go Big more Core Mark 1. Normal summon without tributing? Yes. This thing is useless anyway because it gets no counters if you don't special summon it. And then it's like, if it battles and you didn't remove a counter from it, it gets destroyed. So there's literally like nothing I could do with it anyway. It's better as dust. So let's give it what we want. Turn me to dust! I surrender to the big dragon! Uh, duel 37. Loss number 19. Toon Cyber Dragon. Tribe Shocking Virus. And whatever that was. Oops. And what was the other... you three shove off get out of here we don't we, I've, I've no longer have any mercy for these cards i'm dismantling just get out of here we're done go ahead and get rid of those and we're down to exactly 40 we've got it we've got a nice svelte 40 card deck and a lot of srs in here still hopefully we can destroy more of these before i have to rebuild this i'm not sure if i have the patience to rebuild this and add more stuff into it I think we'll just go until we lose and then we can try, because now we at least have enough to build a bunch of rare cards. Uh, but we'll see. Let's jump back in. You doing a masochist run? Kinda. There's a pinned comment. You can look at this YouTube video. Watch like the first minute. I have an explanation of what the challenge is. If you have any questions after that, then you can ask them. Ah, oh, Dreisten and Gottams. SR and UR. We finally have a chance, although I think I want to destroy this first. We'll see. We're up against g g g g g g Setting cards. All right, all right, all right, all right. All the big sets, all the big sets. Okay, probably not a bot, bot of some kind. Whoa! Thank you! Let's get everything out here. Okay. Go, red layer! They're thinking. They're cooking something up. 
What do you got? No, come on! A burn! I need you to destroy my things, my dude! Stop not destroying my things! No, I had such a good hand! If you just played an actual deck, it's bad reaction burn. Are you at least gonna summon this in attack mode so I can, like, attack into it with this? Please. Twin Paths of Destiny! Okay, come on. Set it in attack position. Let me crash! Come on, you owe me! <laughs> Yeah, there we go. At least get a little something done. Gift card. Can they use it this turn? Um. Okay. So, we're going to attack in. Thank you. Look, buddy. I know, I know you want you want to just uh, you want to just burn me to death. But check this out. I'll just put it out. All you gotta do is attack into it. You're fine. You're good. Just just go ahead. I've got an imperm. You know you gotta watch out for that imperm. You don't want to get imperm there or anything. No, I need the UR points. I'm crashing the red layer. I'm sorry, I no longer have nostalgia. Chad is like, please, red layer, let him survive. He's been here so long. Come on, battle, fight it. Fight me, you coward. Punch me, come on, no. Well, at least I managed to get some UR points, so there's that. <laughs> Duel 38, loss number 20, um, Super Quantal Red Layer Destroyed. Come on, hit me, I'm here! <laughs> could have, I could have rammed, yeah, I could have rammed both, I don't know why I didn't think about that. All right, Super Quantum Red Layer. You were my first you are, and now you're not. Now you're gone. But, you know, when I'm finally ready to build my Labyrinth deck, I will use the dust from your grinded up bones to build my first lovely lady or my first big welcome. So when they get welcomed to the Labyrinth, your ghost will hopefully be the one inviting them in with welcome arms. Unless you hate me for destroying you. I mean, there's there's a p possible chance that you did that. Uh, I got like 20 more minutes. I might as well just fill this up with a couple more and try, try a few more before the end of the night. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's any normal monsters. Normal rarity things that I want to get rid of. Things that can be dismantled. Yeah, how about you? We need some lower level things I can actually summon because we don't have enough. Free special summon. Uh, 
Oh, we'll get rid of these. Get rid of the other crawlers. Uh, you're shiny. You're absolutely useless. For the people who wanted me to play Unchained, there you go. I did it. I played Unchained. Now you can shut up about it. Hey. Uh, do we have any good spells and traps? What does it say about society that Ojamas are classified as beasts? I know, that's born... That's unfair to beasts. To associate them with such things. Uh, let's go ahead and check our glossy finished ones. Okay, here's grinder deck number two. There's no point in going over everything because I just chose a bunch of stuff at random that was glossy that, that I could break down, hopefully. Let's jump back into it. Ojamas are warriors. Haven't you seen Ojama Knight? All right. Vampire domination. I still haven't had anyone use like Harpy's Feather Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster against me. Got Dogmaticas. They might they might do such a thing. With the punishment, you know? Okay, let's see if we could do some some classic style bait, chat. Let's see if I'm a master baiter or not. Ooh, nice. Nice -oo. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to set a card, which they might think is is useful. Um Oh, I could just blow that up myself. Uh, I'll save that for this. We could do this. Okay, actually I won't summon if I summon this, they might not blow up the back row because they might think that it's a uh, unchained thing. So instead we're just gonna normal summon Silver Sentinel. This threatens to crash with the Ecclesia, so maybe they'll use this, send Antis, pop the back row. That would be nice. That would be cool. Although there's a chance that they think the back row is like a, a, an artifact or something, because that's essentially what this is. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see, baby. Okay, goodbye, Silver Sentinel. You're cool. You got a neat, like, gun with a whole bunch of silver finish on it and everything. But, uh, you're better as dust. You what? You what now? 
I mean, I guess that's, that's something new. That's something I haven't seen before. That's one way to mill cards into the graveyard. Guess I'll remember that one. Uh, fine, I'll just do it myself then. Go Unchained. Blow up the vampire domination. Get me the SR points I always wanted. Max. <laughs> sure. I'm fine by that. Get that. We'll put it there. It's what every, it's what every uh, commenter always wanted. I'm playing Unchained. I did it. You can't say I didn't play Unchained. They're in here. Hopefully I can put that into the title of the video or something. I finally play Unchained in the Deck Devastation Challenge. That'll bring in so many people. And it was all clickbait. I mean, it wasn't entirely clickbait. I mean, there it is. There's one on field. It's not part of a strategy or anything, but I did it. Also, these vampires got dominated. Wait, what is this? Discard two cards, add up to the same number of infernities from your deck to the graveyard. I don't have any infernities. I guess I could just discard my hand. You know, for fun. Fun. F stands for fuck you and pay me fun. Don't you know you're never gonna play me? Fun. I have had enough. Put that shit in reverse. Check it, it says fun. Something like that. In perm, very important for this deck. Oh, you're gonna blow up a card in my hand or the back row? Hand of the back row, what you gonna do? Hand of the back row, what you gonna do? Come on, you know you wanna pop more cards? I need it, I desire the cards to be popped. They're working overtime to help me dismantle stuff. I hope, I hope they don't just destroy this. They can run over this, it's not a problem. Oh, come on, you're so boring. Think of all the stuff I could have had on the field or in my hand. Now you're gonna get hit by the mirror force as far as you know. Well, I lost three cards. And one of them was an SR, so I'm feeling good. Are we dead? No. No, they could have killed us if they had thought about it. But we're gonna get one more craft in here. What are we gonna lose? Night End Sorcerer or the Crawler Ravine? I mean, the Ravine has less attack. We do have some Crawler support and stuff, though. Oh, never mind. They're gonna transaction rollback. Pay half their life points! Well, you know what? Fuck you. I've got Infernity Inferno. What you say about that? <laughs> Fine! I don't care! I don't need any of your shit, alright? I would like to surrender. <laughs> How rude. I take back all the nice things I said about them. Okay, silver, sentinel. Uh, unchained. Aruha, and what was the other one? Vampire, Domination, all destroyed. Labyrinth won its second Duelist Cup, fuck. That was my strategy. Hopefully they don't ban him again. What am I gonna do?
All right, that may have not worked out the way I was hoping, but we still get rid of three cards. We could dismantle some stuff. Goodbye. Now we're set up for next time. We can get all sorts of things, although I've just been informed by someone at chat that at the time of recording, Labyrinth just won a dang old uh, Duelist Cup. Uh, it's possible that's just a rumor. It's possible that's true. Or it's not true, but if it is true, oh no. I mean, I haven't started building the Labyrinth deck yet, so, you know, it'll be good if they, they do ban it. I'll know before I start building it. But I was really hoping that that deck was, like, past its prime, so I wouldn't have to worry about getting it, it getting banned while I was trying to climb the ladder with it. But, uh, I guess we'll see. Limit Cash Tira more. Decraft three and talk about Labyrinth winning the duelist cup. Uh, include if true. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? We got another Dreisten, and that's about it. And look, we're going up against something that might actually be like a, an even threat for what we're facing. Felgrand? I might be able to beat Felgrand with, like, Dreisten and a Eldritch Spell Trap. Morphtronic Remote. There's a remote chance it does something. Oh boy. Ojama Yellow. Go, Dreisten. Let's dry him out. Battle phase. Eh. Now I just hope they don't revive that and like banish this dude because I kind of need that dude to exist. If you're wondering why I'm being aggressive and not just crashing things, again, it's the, the, more, the more turns we can go, the more monsters we can put on the field, and the more we can lose at once. At least that's the idea. I didn't exactly do, like, any kind of, um, like, run a test to see if it's faster to, like, die on purpose immediately or to get big stuff. Ooh. This is something I would really like to get rid of. Okay, um. That's a five. Yeah. Go Remoten! That's what I like about Yu-Gi-Oh! chat. Just uh, King Arthur's Court and a sentient remote control. Working together, attacking his friends. You know, even though I would lose less cards, it might be worth it to like tribute this and this to get out General Grunard. Just because that'll be my only chance to like actually summon it so it can be destroyed. Unless that's game. It better not be game. I didn't I didn't do anything. Alright, let's go ahead and flip this up. Eh. And then we will tribute the Remoten and the Guardian of the Golden Land for General Grunard of the Ice Barrier. He's all like Whoa. Uh, 46? Okay, we'll put him on the back foot. Of course, this is something you probably want to banish, so... I don't know. But I'm really hoping they can just summon something out that'll destroy this, or activate Raigeki or something. Dragon Maid. All right. I'm curious where you're going with this. 
One card you control and one card in the opponent's graveyard. Return them to the hand. Oh, or they control. No, Grenard! I spent so many resources to summon you! Never gonna be able to destroy this card! Why can't you play Fissure like a regular person or Hammer Shot? Seals pass. They're gonna bounce all my stuff! I want that stuff on the field! Uh, I'll put out my most intimidating monster. Come on, don't bounce the Dreisten. Maybe I should have waited, just normal summon the Dreisten again if they bounce it. Okay, thank you. I At least they did that. I don't know why they left me with my highest attack monster. It doesn't really make sense, but I appreciate it. All right, battle phase. Take this little dragon maid. Oh wait, you can like tag it out, right? Yeah, there you go. You got this, buddy. You'll be destroying cards all over the place. Look at you. Okay, um, we'll move this to defense to make it easier to destroy. We'll set Heroic Challenger. Oh wait, I already summoned this turn. Uh, I'll set this. There we go. No, come on, you're not that afraid of Dreisten, are you? The fear of players who don't know what they're doing.
Oh, come on. Don't tell me they're gonna kill me here and I'm not gonna get a single card destroyed. All I wanted was for you to destroy my shit. You had the ability, you chose not to. Why are you activating that? Just because you can? <laughs> and then my pink dragon moves slightly to the right. Smile. Are you done? Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, I just want to get rid of this Dreisten. Uh, let me, maybe they'll negate this. Maybe they'll be like dumb. Like if they negate and destroy or something. Maybe they'll be like, oh no, I'm very spooked about that idea. Can't be dealing with that. No. Oh, I do have an Infernity card. Didn't even realize it. Uh, okay. What if I just set the Dreisten? Surely you'll just run over the face down card, right? You had that the whole time and you just now decided to search it. Why why did you wait so long? <laughs> the absolute state of gold, I tell you what. Xiao. Well, good. Good, I'm glad they're destroyed. Okay, for a second I was going to be like... Like, oh, I get to survive another turn. I don't. But at least they're going to destroy one card. Can't believe they bounced all my, like, weak little things that they could have easily run over with all their cards. But at least Dreisten finally died. Goodbye, Dreisten. I appreciate your sacrifice. Even if the fucking ice barrier is still here. Um, worth showing some of the beginning. After they bounce back the ice barrier, most of the rest you can just skip.
All right, where are you at, buddy? Goodbye! I think it took me longer to type what, what, what I did than to actually do it. Okay, we can do a couple more of these. Wait, prohibited. Oh. We got we got room for a couple more tonight. And then like I said, next time we could start going more serious with the deck. Now that we have dust to do stuff. Oh, the Testina! If I could summon this out and have it be destroyed. Delectable. And we got another armed dragon. The armored dragon. It might be a dragon. Not exactly sure. Let's throw this out. SR, coming from afar. Hit him in the face. When I golf, I always get the par. Uh, no spell traps. Let's go. If they summon three times, I can special summon Triforcetops. That's cool. Set a card. All right. Tally ho, Springens! Let's just go ahead and set this to the main phase, because that's how we do. Let's go ahead, uh, Angel of Venus, because she's shiny. Go forward, Armored Dragon, the Armored Dragon of Wearing Armor. Ah, ninjas. Oh. But ninjas won't destroy everything, they'll just attack directly. Why do I gotta go up against every deck that's not gonna just, like, do the thing that Yu-Gi-Oh! decks are supposed to do? Okay, good. They got the Iron Digger. Use that to pop one of my cards. Back row, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Armored Dragon. Your armor wasn't strong enough. On oh, the Agent of Venus 2? What is it, my birthday? Muchos gracias. Alright, what's up next? F.A. Grand Prix Circuit. Uh, do we set it? Yeah, people, people are scared of the unknown. Um, if they have the card that lets them tribute my set cards to get stuff, I don't want them to be able to do that. I want them to keep running over this by battle. Give me more! I need more! Alright, notebook. Make a note of it, chat. There's a book there. Yeah! Harpy's Feather Duster! woo -hoo -hoo! I get to break down the Tally Ho and the Grand Prix. Getting all the stuff, getting it do. Everybody know what you got, my shoe. I will say, it's an interesting thing about- I don't think anyone's ever, like, cheered for Duster. Getting Dustered quite that same way. We got five. This ninja deck's proven to be the best so far. All right. Wait, can I activate something? You can banish this. One dark normal summon can be summoned without tributing. I don't. I don't have any of those. 
All right, knights, knights and sorcerer. He don't look like he's gonna end the night. Looks like he's more like rabbit moon sorcerer, you know? Set this here. Let's go. All right, flipping up the Kagero. Yeah, that's cool. Summon in the Tobari. That's fine. Fusion? I would fusion both of them if I were you. I mean, I'm no expert. I didn't read no Bibble, but I know a thing or two about knowing a thing or three. There we go. Look at them. <clears throat> Check it out. Trifortra Tops! Gigantor! The Fortress of Light! All right, we're gonna put this in defense position. And this thing is is unaffected by other cards' effects, which is kind of neat. Hopefully they'll destroy Knight and Sorcerer, add another thing. Oh, don't go for the back row. I wanted a tribute summon. Well, I guess that's fine. At least it got destroyed. There's another one. This is the most successful one to date. Two, three, four, five, six cards. At least. Blade Armor Ninja, okay. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to tribute summon my Testina. I was really hoping to find a way to break this down. Unfortunately, I think that's just game. They can just attack directly. But maybe they'll destroy my Night End Sorcerer. Please. Please, come on. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. It's his birthday. Oh. He's just like, what's everyone doing? But at least, at least, at least we got some stuff. That'll give us some things. This is a good way to end out the night. Duel 41, loss 23. Yeah, like how someone comes in, sees the deck I'm playing, and they're like, you look like an expert. What are the best staples this season? Okay, so what did we lose? Arm Dragon, the Armored Dragon, uh, Eld Lich. I oh, know it's, uh, let's put an Eld. Well, Tally Ho, I remember. Oh, was it golden? It's a golden land card? Yeah. Uh, there were three of them all together. We lost Venus. There were two more, chat. Do you remember? Guardian of the Golden Land, uh, Vampire, Ian, welcome. How you doing today? You having a good time? You having a fun time? Are you having a good fun time? Thank you for the party of three. 
Vampire Sorcerer. There was one more. It was a field spell, wasn't it? Because it got destroyed when I said it. Yeah, it was the F.A. field spell. Vampire Sorcerer, that's me. Well, you're getting dismantled. I'm sorry. Nice. Sounds cool, Crispy. All right, a highly productive duel. All of you, very good job. You did an excellent... Uh, okay. All right, a very productive duel. Good job, you five. As far as being cannon fodder for the dust grinder, you did exactly as I expected to. There you go. And now we have enough for many R's, several SR's. I have to uh, go down this a little bit, get rid of some of these. We could probably keep playing this, but at this point, I feel like we've hit most of the big stuff. We've got, like, one more SR that's easy to destroy, and the rest of them are, like, tribute monsters and spells we can't activate that we would, uh, like, need our opponent to destroy. So, very unlikely. So, I think from here on in, we're gonna go back to trying to win the duels. But, again, you know, let me know if you thought the, uh, the grinder set was a, uh, a fun little experiment. If it was a neat peek into strategy and stuff. Or if I should just either, like, never do this again and have to worry about not having material. Or if I could just break down whatever I want. Let, let me know in the chat or in the, uh, the comments. And, uh, I'll see you next time with, with hopefully something a little better. Ooh, ah, fancy. Craft MSTs to pop your own back row? No. What was it? Someone pointed that if we wanted to pop our own back row, the best thing to do would be to make um, Griffin's Feather Duster because it costs normal points, which are the ones we need the least. And then once we have that, we can just, like, we can make three of those and then use it to destroy all our back row. I'm heading out. Have a good one. What percentage of your persona is the real you? Uh, that's always kind of, like, hard to figure out, right? Because, like, it depends what you mean by real. Because if I hang out with my friends, I'll often be, like, a goofy goober. Obviously, like, I'm not sitting here by myself. Like, if I play Yu-Gi-Oh! by myself, I don't talk to the, the screen. I wouldn't be like, oh, come on! I would just be, like, quietly mousing stuff around. But if you put me in a group of people, I might exaggerate stuff to make people laugh. So it's like a genuine part of my personality, but only part that I do when I'm, like, around other people. So, like, is the top hat real or is it all green screen? Oh, it's 100% real, baby. It's real. Critter's real. Critter, you want to say hello to the new people? <laughs> He's pretty cool. The hard leg is real. If you were wondering what the hard leg was, it's this. There you go. And other than that, I think we're going to call it for tonight. If you missed earlier, it was, um... Usually on Friday, I do the Deck Devastation Challenge. This Friday, I started that, and then I had an interview with another, um, content creator. They had, like, a little talk show thing, and I was on that. So I only got to stream for two hours doing the challenge. 
Duelist Cup survey. I'll get to that later. So I'm doing a little makeup stream this week, or right now, to get the other two hours in. Because this Friday I'm going to be getting like dental surgery, so I won't be able to stream that. The hard leg is real! And if you're curious about the Deck Devastation Challenge, there's something linked in the chat. You should be able to, to see it wherever the chat is on your screen. You can watch the first episode now. It's up on YouTube. There's like a little thing at the beginning, like the first minute that'll explain everything. Oh, hey. Sucker ball. More. The quick answer, as people will say, is um, it's like halfway between a Nuzlocke and a Masochist series. It's like a no it's not like a Masochist in that like I get a certain amount of cards to start with, and then I only get one pack when I win, but I also get one craft, so I can actually craft and try to design a deck. To make up for that. Every time a card is destroyed in a duel, I have to destroy it for real by decrafting it. <laughs> so it's like high stakes battle. Things that die in the game die for real. And I'm not allowed to, what was it? I'm allowed to craft a card every time I win, but I'm not allowed to decraft cards. I can only decraft them when they're destroyed in a duel. So that was today's stream. We built a deck of all the SRs and URs and stuff that I couldn't use and didn't want to use, and spent the evening trying to get them destroyed in a duel so I could decraft them and have the materials I need for next time. I stream at vampire hours. Yeah, I'm usually not up this late. It's like midnight for me at the moment. And I, if you can't tell, I'm about to end things. <laughs> 